Welcome back to the Cosmic Frontier, where today's adventure takes us billions of years into the past, far beyond what we thought was the beginning of time. I'm here to guide you through a groundbreaking discovery by the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, that challenges our understanding of the universe. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, and let's dive into a realm where the cosmos itself might just be older than the Big Bang. John Mather revisits a quote from Einstein, the universe must be infinitely old. That was an error we've come to appreciate anew with the revelations from the James Webb Telescope. Stirring the pot of cosmic discovery, this telescope has unveiled structures and galaxies that appear older than the Big Bang itself. It's as if our researchers are gazing into a bizarre realm that defies our long-standing scientific doctrines, yet it's the same cosmos. Despite these anomalies, John Mather remains skeptical about the notion of an infinite universe. Reflecting on Einstein's words from a century ago, two things are infinite, the universe and human stupidity. And I'm not sure about the universe. It's clear the debate continues. Einstein, in his youth, grappled with a static, finite universe, a place where everything had its slot. Yet, his pioneering work on the dynamics of the cosmos, defining movements, dimensions, and the interplay of forces led him to an understanding that nothing rivals the speed and consistency of light. As Einstein delved deeper into his research and uncovered more of the cosmos's secrets, he grew increasingly convinced that our universe possesses a sort of infinity. However, these beliefs were eventually overshadowed by the advent of the Big Bang Theory, which proposes an expanding universe with a definitive beginning and potential end. But can this still hold true? Enter the James Webb Telescope, casting doubt on these established ideas by revealing a universe that seems to contradict the very foundations of the Big Bang and even challenges Einstein's field equations. Among its startling finds are galaxy clusters so ancient they predate the supposed timeline of the Big Bang. Imagine galaxies existing merely 200 to 300 million years after the Big Bang already a tough pill to swallow for traditional science. Now consider the impact of discovering a cluster filled with hundreds, perhaps thousands, of these ancient galaxies. The implications are staggering. As evidence mounts, the scientific community is at a crossroads. Despite the overwhelming data, many experts cling to the Big Bang theory rationalizing that matter must have evolved more rapidly than previously thought. Have you ever considered the possibilities this opens up? Imagine the universe at its inception, an inferno of unimaginable heat, eventually cooling down to a stage where elementary particles, once freely roaming since the Big Bang, slowly coalesced to form molecules. Over eons, these molecules grouped into vast clouds of gas and dust, drifting through space, this set the stage for a cascade of cosmic events, eventually leading to the creation of stars from swirling hot gas clouds, all orchestrated by the force of gravity, a fundamental element in Einstein's cosmological vision and his equations of relativity. Scientists have long simulated and calculated these processes, yet the James Webb Telescope presents a conundrum that challenges these established theories. According to our current understanding, the universe at this stage should predominantly be a vast, empty, and dark expanse with only the earliest stars beginning to emerge. However, the images captured by Webb, showing the universe merely 200 or 300 million years after the Big Bang, reveal not just a sprinkling of stars, but sprawling galaxies and massive clusters that, by all accounts, shouldn't exist yet. John Mather, the project leader for the James Webb Telescope, and a staunch supporter of the Big Bang Theory, has reiterated in multiple interviews his unwavering belief in this cosmic origin story. Despite the provocative findings that suggest a universe far more mature than previously thought at such an early age, John Mather is adamant that matter must have formed rapidly in the early universe, yet efforts to align this rapid formation with the star boost theory have fallen short. Star boost galaxies, known for their rapid star production, seem absent in the early universe we observe today. Contrary to expectations, 
These early galaxies don't appear drastically different from the galaxies we see. Now they don't show signs of expedited star formation or any boosted characteristics. Interestingly, the latest findings might seem baffling or even heretical to classical physicists, but they align well with quantum physics theories. These ideas, which include concepts like universe bubbles or parallel worlds, often sit uncomfortably alongside Einstein's field equations. Should we continue to rely solely on century-old formulas in light of compelling evidence suggesting that our foundational physics might be as incomplete as Newton's initial theories on gravity? Let's entertain some alternative theories for a moment. The quantum realm provides substantial support for the idea of a multiverse, suggesting that a singular universe might not be the only reality out there. This challenges the conventional views, but opens exciting possibilities for understanding the cosmos's true nature. The notion that our universe has a definitive beginning and end is increasingly contested. It's quite plausible that our universe is merely one of many, each with its own unique set of physical laws. Sir Roger Penrose has unearthed evidence suggesting that the universe is cyclical. It emerges, exists, fades, and then re-emerges endlessly. Other theories propose that our universe is just one bubble within a vast cosmic sea, hinting that if we ever reach the edge of our bubble, we might step into an entirely new realm. Imagine this, our universe as a pocket universe, intricately designed with separate sections within a larger space, each leading to other dimensions through its own exits. This concept aligns with the Big Bang and the steady state theories, but introduces a thrilling twist. Let's dive into a fascinating anecdote. In 1945, three Cambridge lecturers watched a horror movie featuring parallel dimensions and life lived in dreams. This film sparked a sudden epiphany among them, leading to a profound, spontaneous insight the universe might be eternal. Inspired by this revelation, they developed the steady state theory, suggesting that our cosmos is continually replenished with matter from another source, an idea that challenges the very fabric of traditional cosmic theories. Even though parts of the steady state theory have been disproven, its essence might still hold truth, especially in light of the James Webb Telescope's findings. These discoveries are challenging the traditional views on the Big Bang and cosmic expansion, bringing fresh attention to older theories. Consider black holes, for example. These cosmic enigmas absorb an immense amount of matter from our dimension. But where does it all go? It's believed that black holes deconstruct matter into its most basic informational components, something quantum physics suggests is eternal. Here are two compelling possibilities. First, our universe could eventually be entirely consumed by black holes, their contents stored as information, then ejected to initiate a new cosmos. This scenario aligns closely with Roger Penrose's concept of a cyclical universe. Alternatively, black holes might act as conduits, expelling old, spent matter to sustain another universe. This suggests our universe might be in constant, albeit unseen, interaction with a parallel dimension. And now, for the truly incredible part, if our universe is indeed sustained by perpetual streams of matter from another world, we've yet to detect these flows. The implications are profound and point to an even more interconnected cosmic fabric than we ever imagined. For years, Scientists have grappled with a fundamental mystery. At what point do particles become matter and gain mass? This elusive transformation was thought to hinge on the Higgs boson, often hailed as the God particle, which was discovered in the high-tech corridors of a Geneva particle accelerator. The Higgs field associated with this particle was believed to be the mechanism granting mass to matter. Yet, the behavior of the Higgs boson has proven as unpredictable as any particle in the subatomic realm, defying precise measurement and understanding the more it is observed. What then could a new standard model look like? As of now, the creation of matter remains a profound enigma. What's more, many are unaware of the speculative foundations underlying our current cosmological framework. Known as the Lambda Cold Dark Matter, Lambda CDM model, 
This standard model of cosmology integrates Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity with empirical evidence like the cosmic microwave background radiation. This evidence has led scientists to deduce not only the universe's expansion, but also the intricate structures and evolutionary paths that define the cosmos. Yet, despite its widespread acceptance, this model is built on conjectures that are as cosmic in scale as the phenomena they aim to explain. The underlying premise of our current understanding of cosmology, the Lambda CDM model, posits that the universe is homogeneous and isotropic uniform in composition and properties on a grand scale. Yet, this notion has increasingly come under scrutiny. Over the past two decades, astronomers have uncovered vast and complex structures scattered throughout the cosmos, challenging the idea that the universe maintains a consistent pattern everywhere. The traditional model breaks down the universe's composition into about 68% dark energy, 27% dark matter, and only 5% ordinary matter. Dark energy, in particular, is thought to drive the universe's accelerated expansion. However, here's the catch. While we have a reasonable grasp on the 5% of visible matter, dark energy and dark matter remain largely mysterious, almost ghost-like in their elusiveness. Their existence, while widely theorized, is yet to be definitively proven. Another fascinating element is the Hubble sphere, which defines the boundary of the observable universe. It stretches about 46.5 billion light years in all directions from Earth, encompassing a visible diameter of approximately 93 billion light years. Within this sphere, we are essentially looking back in time. The farther we gaze into the cosmos, the older the light we see offering us a real-time window into the universe's ancient past. As we peer into the past, the observable universe, or Hubble sphere, continues to expand. With each passing moment, the universe grows, allowing more distant light to reach us. Our ever-improving telescopes further extend our vision, revealing an ever-larger cosmic landscape. Despite this, we see no clear signs of an evolving universe. Instead, it appears vast and ancient, suggesting the Hubble sphere might only be a tiny fraction of the entire cosmos. These observations, along with the discovery of massive ancient galaxies existing shortly after the Big Bang, challenge the standard cosmological model. The model is becoming increasingly untenable. Scientists like John Mather strive to reconcile these new findings with the old model, but so far, their efforts have been unsuccessful. The James Webb Space Telescope, successor to the Hubble, launched with the promise of peering further into the cosmos than ever before. Equipped with the most advanced technology, JWST's primary goal is to study the universe's infancy and evolution. It observes objects at infrared wavelengths, allowing it to see through cosmic dust and gaze at the first galaxies that formed after the Big Bang, or so we thought. Recently, JWST stumbled upon a collection of galaxies that seem to predate the Big Bang's timeline. These galaxies appear not only formed, but also mature, possessing stars that suggest an age older than 13.8 billion years. This finding contradicts the current cosmological models and suggests that our universe's history might need a serious rewrite. The existence of these ancient galaxies could turn our understanding of cosmic chronology on its head. If these galaxies are indeed older than the Big Bang, it implies the presence of a previous cosmic era. This leads to questions about what came before the Big Bang and whether our universe is just one of many in a potentially cyclical cosmos. This discovery is not just a scientific anomaly. It has profound philosophical implications. It challenges the concept of a beginning of time and opens up new discussions about the nature of reality and our place within it. Scientists are now pondering whether these findings indicate a need for new physics or if we are seeing evidence of a universe much more complex than ever imagined. The scientific community is buzzing with excitement and skepticism. More observations and data from JWST will be crucial in verifying these findings. Upcoming missions and further advancements in technology 
will continue to push the boundaries of what we know about the universe and its origins. The James Webb Space Telescope represents the pinnacle of human ingenuity and technology. Its primary mirror is composed of 18 hexagonal segments made of beryllium coated with a thin layer of gold to optimize infrared reflection. This powerful combination allows JWST to capture light from the most distant and ancient objects in the universe, making discoveries like the anomalous galaxies possible. Unlike visible light telescopes, JWST operates primarily in the infrared spectrum. This capability enables it to see through dense cosmic dust clouds that obscure our view of star-forming regions and distant galaxies. The infrared advantage is crucial for studying the early universe and understanding the formation and evolution of galaxies, stars, and planetary systems. One of JWST's missions is to explore the so-called Cosmic Dark Ages, the period before the first stars and galaxies formed. Discovering galaxies that predate this era is a monumental challenge to existing theories. These observations could provide insights into the processes that governed the early universe and the transition from the Dark Ages to the Age of Light. The discovery of ancient galaxies also raises questions about the role of dark matter and dark energy in the universe's evolution. These mysterious components make up most of the universe's mass and energy, yet we understand very little about them. Studying these galaxies could reveal new information about how dark matter and dark energy influenced the early cosmos. The Big Bang Theory has been the cornerstone of cosmology for decades, describing the universe's origin from a singularity. The discovery of galaxies older than the Big Bang challenges this theory and suggests that our understanding of the universe's inception might be incomplete. Scientists are now considering alternative models, such as a cyclic universe or a multiverse. One of the techniques JWST uses to observe distant galaxies is gravitational lensing. This phenomenon occurs when massive objects, like galaxies or clusters, bend the light from objects behind them, magnifying and distorting the view. This natural zoom lens allows JWST to study extremely distant and faint galaxies that would otherwise be invisible. While the Hubble Space Telescope revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos, JWST is set to take it even further. Hubble's discoveries laid the groundwork, but JWST's advanced capabilities allow it to probe deeper and more accurately. Comparing discoveries from both telescopes can provide a more comprehensive picture of the universe's history and structure. In addition to studying distant galaxies, JWST is equipped to search for exoplanets' planets orbiting stars outside our solar system. By analyzing the light from these planets as they pass in front of their stars, JWST can determine their atmospheric composition, potentially identifying planets with conditions suitable for life. The cosmic microwave background radiation is the afterglow of the Big Bang, providing a snapshot of the early universe. JWST's observations of ancient galaxies may offer new insights into the CMB helping to refine our understanding of the universe's birth and early development. JWST's discoveries are enhanced by collaborations with other telescopes, both on Earth and in space. Combining data from different observatories allows scientists to cross-verify findings and gain a multi-wavelength perspective on cosmic phenomena, leading to more robust and detailed conclusions. The anomalies discovered by JWST are prompting physicists to revisit fundamental theories. Concepts such as string theory, quantum gravity, and higher dimensional models are being explored to explain these unexpected findings. This cross-disciplinary approach could lead to groundbreaking advancements in our understanding of the universe. The potential discovery of galaxies older than the Big Bang also has implications for astrobiology. If the universe is older and more complex than we thought, it increases the likelihood that life could have emerged elsewhere. JWST's ability to study exoplanets and their atmospheres brings us closer to answering the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? The discoveries made by JWST 
have captured the public's imagination, sparking curiosity and a renewed interest in space exploration. Educational programs and public engagement initiatives aim to inspire the next generation of scientists and engineers, ensuring that the legacy of JWST's discoveries continues to shape our understanding of the cosmos. Operating a space telescope as advanced as JWST comes with its challenges. From maintaining its position in space to ensuring the longevity of its instruments, the mission requires constant attention and potential upgrades. Future advancements in technology could enhance JWST's capabilities even further, allowing it to continue making groundbreaking discoveries. As we look to the future, the legacy of the James Webb Space Telescope will undoubtedly be one of profound discovery and inspiration. Its observations are not only rewriting textbooks, but also expanding the horizons of human knowledge. The quest to understand the universe's deepest secrets continues, and with JWST leading the way, the possibilities are truly infinite. The groundbreaking discoveries made by JWST are influencing space policy and funding decisions. Governments and private institutions are recognizing the importance of continued investment in space exploration. The success of JWST encourages support for future missions, ensuring that humanity's quest to understand the cosmos remains a priority. The awe-inspiring images and data from JWST are not only significant scientifically, but also artistically. Artists, writers, and filmmakers draw inspiration from these cosmic revelations, creating works that reflect the beauty and mystery of the universe. JWST's discoveries foster a deeper connection between science and the humanities. Welcome to Blessovia Science TV, where we take you on an exhilarating journey through the cosmos and unravel the mysteries of science. We are excited to offer you the opportunity to become a valued member of our ever-growing community of cosmic enthusiasts and knowledge seekers. Exclusive access to cosmic content. As a member of Blisovia Science TV, you will gain exclusive access to a treasure trove of cosmic content, including documentaries, interviews with leading scientists, space missions updates, and awe-inspiring visualizations of the universe, live Q, and a sessions with experts. Your membership will grant you the chance to participate in live Q and a sessions with renowned scientists, astronomers, and space explorers. Get your burning questions answered by those who push the boundaries of human knowledge. Embark on a journey that spans the cosmos and join us in unraveling the secrets of the universe. Become a Blasovia Science TV member today, and together we will reach for the stars. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and share. Don't forget to leave your comment.